أتيتك يا خالقي باكيا ودمع الأسى You know, today, guys, yeah, look around, yeah. I deal with a lot of children, meaning, you know, you see a lot of children. Yeah, you speak to a lot of children. They've got no sense of direction. We're talking about madrasa, school, on the streets, everywhere over here. There's no sense of direction. They don't know what they want in life. They don't know where they're going. They don't even, some of them don't even know what day it is. You ask them what day is it, and it's a Friday, and they'll say a Sunday. And you think to yourself, is it a Sunday? I shouldn't be here on Sunday. Uh, you know, they, they make me chakkar ajata. The reality is, guys, our children are lost. The reality is, our children are lost. Who is the main reason for our? Why is the main reason our children are lost? You might get someone sitting here saying, I don't know what he's on about. Yeah, my children are masha Allah angels. They probably are one in a million. Yeah, but majority of the children that I see, they're lost. They don't know what day it is. I'll be honest with you. They don't even know where they're going. And the responsibility of, it, of this is the parents. Because the parents don't give them time. Invest double the amount of time that you are giving your children. If you're giving your child an hour a day, if you're giving your children an hour a day, double the time. If you're giving your children two hours a day, double the time. <coughs> if you're giving your child five pounds a week to spend, half the expenditure. Give them more time. The spending, half it. My daughter, she's seven years old, Anissa. <coughs> seven years old, innocent, don't know anything. Just recently, I wanted to give her some money, so I was counting some money. I was counting coins. Maulana's only gonna count coins, yeah? No, no, so that's a hint, yeah? So what happens is I'm sitting there, I'm counting coins, and she looks at me and she says, Dad, who are they for? Who are they for? And I said, Anissa, they're for you. Anissa, they're for you. You know what she said to me? She said, Dad, I don't want money. You just promised me that you're going to spend a day with me. And you know, for me, that was a slap. You know, you, you picture an imaginary slap. She's just said to me what came in her heart. She said to me, just spend a day with me. You know, the biggest problem is our mobile phones. Why do you call a mobile phone a cell phone? Because you actually be imprisoned inside your phone. Cell meaning jail. Yeah, cell meaning prison, cell phone. So you're, prisoned, <coughs> you're imprisoned inside your phone. Give your children time. If you don't take them out, who's gonna take them out? If you don't sit with them, who's gonna sit with them? Your next door neighbor, David. Oh, Mohammed, take, can I take your children out? Mashallah, brilliant. Wake up, they're your children. They're not your next door neighbor's children, yeah? A beautiful story, <coughs> I'll tell you, <coughs> beautiful story, a teacher, she's marking some papers, a teacher, she's marking some papers, her husband sitting next to her, and she starts to cry, she starts to cry, her husband says to her, I'm watching TV, why are you crying for, you know, chill out man, let me watch TV, why are you crying for, <coughs> so she says that I've just received these papers, she's a school teacher, and her friend's a school teacher. She says, my friend, which is a school teacher, <coughs> she's not well, so she can't mark these papers. So she's handed these school papers to me. So I'm gonna mark these school papers. So he says, well, okay, but what's there to cry about about that? You know, just get on with it. So he say, she says that the subject is the children have to write, I wish, I wish. They're gonna write a few sentences which start with I wish. So she says that the child's written over here, I wish I was a mobile phone. Was the child written, I wish I was a mobile phone. I wish I could be in my mother's hands. I wish I could be in my father's hands. I wish every time I rang, meaning I was a mobile phone, and I rang, it would put a smile on my mother's face. I wish every time I was a mobile phone, and it rang, it would put a smile on my father's face. I wish when my father lost me, he would turn the house upside down. I wish when my mother lost me, she would turn the house upside down. I wish when every time she got a call, my mother would be happy speaking to me. <coughs> I wish my father, every time his phone rang, he would be happy speaking to me. I wish I was a mobile phone. I wish I was a mobile phone. And it carries on. I haven't got time. 
Okay? Loads of stuff he says. That little child says, I wish, I wish, I wish. So you know the person says to his wife, well, why are you crying for? Tera kya jata hai? Why are you crying for? You know what she says? She says, that's our child. What does she say? She says, that's mine and your child. Now let's think. You know, sometimes I go home, yeah, when I enter home and I see my children, yeah, I want to get my six plus and throw it against the wall, meaning my phone, yeah. But then I wish, I wish afterwards I can pick it up and it comes back, <coughs> back together itself, which is going to happen, yeah. But I feel like that. Why? Because I don't, I feel I don't give my children time. All they want is your time. They don't want anything else. Why can't you sit with them? Why can't you take them out on a Saturday and Sunday? I can remember a few years ago, I used to take him to a park and I used to run around with a football. I've never played football. I hate football, but we used to play. I used to play with them. Physical, physical, you know, get involved. And I'll tell you one story, I'm going to finish on this, yeah. <clears throat> My children, they go from like 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, like that, yeah. Many more to come, inshallah. Yeah, I'm sorry, 12, sorry, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, yeah. I forgot the first one, yeah. And what happens is they never forget this. They never forget this. Whenever they're in a good mood, they always say this, yeah. And it's very important for me to tell you this, yeah. It was a freezing day. It was absolutely freezing and I was asleep in bed, yeah. And what they did is I bought them a big robot, a massive robot. So what they did, yeah, is they hung it out of the window and it was freezing. And they made sure that the robot was good and cold. And I was snoring my head off in bed and they lifted the duvet and they put it on my back. And I swear to God, I was screaming in my head of the, what the, what's this, yeah, kya hai, kya ho gaya hai, yeah? But whenever they recall this, yeah, they love it. Whenever we pick that robot up and they say, Dad, do you remember that robot? Dad, do you remember that robot? It brings a smile on my face because you can connect to them. They're your children, guys. I want to say loads of more stuff here, but we'll just pause it at that. Give your children time. Then at the age of 22, 23, when you come to ulama and you say, Mera bacha sidhe raste par nahi hai, koi taweez do. But all the taweez was time. All I, all I do is make a note and I'd say, time, give your children time. You've missed out now. Wrap it up and wear it and drink it yourself. You've missed out. So give your children time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to act upon. Everything that we said, I mean, must be that one.